what's up y'all and welcome where did my ears go where did my horns go where did they go okay Woo! small panic attack what's up y'all welcome back to the mother freaking afterlife today we are gonna be you know you see the you see the title you see this you see all that stuff today we're gonna be rating some of the scariest videos on the freaking internet there's only six today and this video is kind of short too we are watching scary calm version 68 and again for the people in the yeah. We randomly watch these, bro. They're all out of whack, out of order. If you want to watch them in whack, in order, go to Bizarre Bub. But also, I'm pretty sure this person's leeching off of another person or the vice versa because I've seen the same exact pattern through a whole different channel. So I don't know really who to give credit to, so I don't. But with all that being said, let's not waste no more time. Let's get into this shit. To like, comment, subscribe, all them cool things before the video begins. Tell, leave me a comment and tell me that you, you thought you liked our comment before the video begins. I believe you. A mother hides a camera inside her daughter's bedroom and ends up capturing something pretty creepy. Which now the video itself routine? comes from Leo Lourdes, the mother in question, who recently moved into a new home with her small daughter. Ever since moving in, she's noticed that her daughter has been talking to an imaginary friend. I hate that for you. Although it's normal for young children to have make-believe so friends, much, there's something about this imaginary friend that doesn't sit well with Leo. I'm sure. Hey, so we are just moving in. Literally, it's such a mess. I'm sorry, but we're moving into this old house. And Why? my daughter has been talking to an imaginary friend. Except for, it feels really real. I'm sure. Obviously, it's an imaginary friend. Obviously. But it's been weirding me out. Why? And... I'm wondering if something is triggering it or why it's happening. So I put this camera down and I'm just gonna let it run and we'll see. Curious as to what goes on inside her daughter's bedroom when she's not around, Leo places a camera on a stand and lets her record 24 seven. I love when takes kids At talk first, to ghosts. Nothing strange is captured, but then one night after having dinner, Leo's daughter goes to her bedroom and plays with her so-called imaginary friend. What happens next is beyond strange. This is what was captured. Hey guys. This is what the camera uh, picked up, captured, whatever, uh, a couple nights ago. And I'm, I'm freaked out. Shut up, you're too freaked really out too soon. I don't know what to make of this. Too soon, too soon. I don't know what's going on quite yet. This looks beautiful and funny. What are you guys doing? Are you going to play? No, the fact that the kid's unfazed is scary. No, sit back down. Where are you going? Oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. That a girl, that a girl. That a girl. Somehow, the door opens on its own. Great Seeming parenting. confused and scared, Great Leo's parenting. daughter carefully walks out of the room. But as if that wasn't strange enough, if you listen closely to the video's audio, you can hear what sounds like a deep rumbling noise mm -hmm. coming out of nowhere. It happens right as the door opens by itself. Be 
because of this, Leo can't help but think that whatever had opened the door was making this noise. But to her, it seems that her daughter's imaginary friend might have something to do with this. Yo, fuck that. Fuck she that has nigga. yet to figure out what exactly occurred that night. But for now, the question remains, was something paranormal actually caught? Yes. <laughs> could something else explain this? Yes. Mm. 4 out of 10. Easy 4. It was short, but it was straight to the fucking point. 4 out of 10. It was during a live news report that something very unnerving was caught on camera. On These September 19th good. of 2017, a massive earthquake had struck the center of Mexico, claiming the lives of 369 people and destroying dozens of buildings. What is with Mexico this and demonic shit, This earthquake was shit, so intense dude? that many country residents are still, to this day, haunted by this terrible incident. But there's one disturbing event that occurred during this earthquake that stands out the most in many people's minds. The destruction Something of a private school know, for bro. preschoolers and secondary students. Nearby residents fled to the scene after learning that students were trapped underneath the rubble of the building. Sadly enough, it is said that during the search and rescue, they could hear the muffled sounds of screaming children underneath the rubble. Some did not survive the impact of the wreckage. This was truly a tragic day for the parents of these children. Nevertheless, a horde of news stations arrived on the scene to broadcast live footage of this horrifying incident. But one particular news station had caught something very unusual. Viewers of the broadcast noticed it and immediately began to record their screens. Who still has that phone? What was captured has left many Somebody. people unsettled. Be sure to look closely at the large crack in this wall as you might miss it the first time. This is what was captured. Hacer este túnel y en la parte de arriba lo están tratando de hacer desde el techo de este, digamos, como balcón. Hay socorristas tanto de la Cruz Roja como del Ejército Mexicano y del Plan Marina que están, pues, con los planos del edificio en mano y continúan la versión de que están muy cerca de lo que era el área de cocina. No shit, y'all see it. An alien. Within the wall's crevice, a small, palish looking figure can be seen gazing at the rescuers surrounding the building. Even more chilling is that its face resembles that of a child's. It does. Yet, there's something eerie about this supposed child. Mm -hmm. They stand completely still throughout the entire broadcast. Which is weird. It's almost as though they're not alive. Probably not. And what's even more strange is that at first, nothing appears in the crack, but then later, a childlike face is seen. For this reason, among others, many believe that this may have been the ghost of a child who was trapped underneath the rubble, but sadly passed away. But as always, what do you think? Had the spirit of a child trapped in the wreckage appear on camera, or was something else seen? There has yet to be a clear answer as to what was caught in the footage, but for now, this video remains a mystery. And it's gonna stay a mystery. One out of one, not a ten, a five, y'all. One out of five. One out of five. There's a small musician on YouTube by the name of Axel Loza who usually uploads videos that showcase his musical talents. From videos that show what happens behind the scenes for a music video to random clips of him playing music, there's no shortage of videos that display his musical skills. However, out of all videos posted online, one video has left viewers totally spooked. The video in question is strange as it doesn't involve anything related to music, like most of Axel's videos. Instead, it starts off with Axel's brothers waking up in the dead of night and staring off into the distance. Mm -mm. Immediately, we can tell that there's something off about this video. Axel explains that he and his brothers had woken up after hearing strange noises coming from the closet. They were staring at it, when suddenly, after looking closely, they saw something that left them completely shook. This is what they saw. That's all I heard. Uh-uh. Close it again, close it again, close it again. Behind the closet's windowpane, 
a ghostly face can That's be seen. Weird. Mm -hmm. But when Axel heads over to open the closet, he finds no one inside. That looks like a little boy. It quickly disappears as soon as Axel opens the door. Or maybe I'm the camera pans around boys. all over the closet, showing no possible hiding spots for the supposed person inside. Now, of course, it could be that Axel is just a really good video editor and had cut the video to pull this off. But slowing down the footage where the cutter edit could have been made seems to show no signs of editing. So then, if this is genuine footage of something paranormal, what exactly was caught on camera? Like most videos, it seems we may never know, as no further information has been given. One out of five. One out of five. This bro. next video comes from a security officer who, while being on duty, caught away. something pretty spooky on camera. Eric Campbell of Tampa, Florida, works for a company that owns a tall building at an undisclosed location. The building itself is believed to be haunted, as those who've worked there have reported paranormal encounters. Now, Eric himself doesn't believe in the paranormal, but after what happened one night while working the night shift at this place, he might just be a believer. Eric and another security officer are patrolling around the premises of the building when all of a sudden, Eric spots what looks to be a person inside the edifice. Alerted by the trespasser, Eric's colleague heads inside to interrogate the person. Meanwhile, Eric stays outside to make sure the intruder doesn't escape. Little did they know, they would encounter something they weren't trained for. That's a hair! Eric that is hair talking to his partner eyeball. through a walkie-talkie as he watches the trespasser. Yeah, it's still there. Okay. Yeah, it's still there. Okay. What's happening with the lights? Because I'm, dude, I'm looking the, the, the lights the are, hallway, and the, I can't see, like, I literally see nothing. The lights are off right now. Oh, it just moved. It just moved. It just moved. It just moved. I don't want to be in that building. I'd rather be the guy out there. Dude, it just moved. Hell no. Without warning, the trespasser just disappears, so leaving Eric nice in total shock. It was at this point that he realized this wasn't a trespasser, but instead, something else. Ever since that night, Eric has been having trouble understanding what he saw. To this day, neither he nor his partner have any idea as to who or what was inside the building. I ain't gonna lie, that was also a one. As with most videos found online, this next one has little to no information it is still nonetheless very strange. Although its original source is unknown, a viewer of the video comments that it came from someone who's been dealing with unusual occurrences at home. Mm. They placed a camera inside their bedroom to capture the strange events that often happen inside. It appears to be late at night when the following happens. Watch. The man is suddenly lifted off the bed as though something is pulling him upwards from his feet. In a panic frenzy, the man scoots all the way over to the other end of the bed, seemingly trying to make sense of what just happened. The video then cuts to black. The lack of a backstory to this video keeps it shrouded in mystery, making it a bit harder to know what exactly occurred. But what's your stance on this? Real or not? I don't know. I'll let you be the judge. That is crazy. That's probably the scariest thing ever that could possibly happen to a human being. Is y'all seen that video of that guy who's literally getting ran by a ghost? If I could find it, I'm gonna put it on the screen, bro. That video is horrendous, bro. If that ever happened, I think that's next level ghost shit, dude. You have had to been in that house for years for that to happen to you. It looked like he knew it was coming and he was like, sleep. I don't know. I don't know. Terrifying. Three out of three out of five, only because it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. I didn't get no tears. It wasn't enough. It was still scary. This last video comes from a man named Brandown Costa, who is woken up by a strange noise outside his room. He proceeds to take out his phone and record the strange event, but what he captures leaves him deeply unsettled. Now, according to Brandown, he had played with a Ouija board a few days prior. For this reason, he believes that what he captured that night was paranormal in nature. All in all, this incident has spooked him to his core. For this, first. this is what he captured.
Oh, what the fuck was that? Why am I trying to turn my head to view it? The shit that happens is unreal. Oh! Eerily enough, a face can be seen peeking at Brandown before disappearing from sight. But, scariest face, of all, but... the bedroom door suddenly closes on its own. Given that Brandown had played with the Ouija board before this, viewers aren't surprised that this happened. Back. But still, what he encountered is downright terrifying. Yet the question is still begged, who or what was this? Don't fuck with corners, bro. Now that's creepy. It sure is creepy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next Three to time. Five. You know how they say, you know, the size doesn't matter. It does to me, all right? Length is important to me, all right? I need to be in invested in something. It doesn't even have to be suspenseful. I just need to be invested in something and then boom. And it needs to be long and I need to dread it. If I don't dread it and it ain't long, then it's like, you're not going to get a great reaction out of me. Overall though, good set of videos. The last one is a three out of five because like this. It's not long enough. Your spooky shit could happen, but if it doesn't happen over a long period of time or or repeatedly, then it's just like eh. Anyways, if you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, comment what you think was the scariest. The scariest one for me is yeah, the one with the little girl. That's the scariest one, and she's a smart little girl because she just got up and calmly walked up out of there. Me, I would have freaked the fuck out and called for my mother, but she's she's better than me. Anyways. That's the scariest one for me. What was the scariest one for you? Like, comment, subscribe, as said before. And I'm going to catch y'all in the afterlife. Peace, Jooms.